Welcome to Sara's class. Today we are discussing the topic magnetic effect of electric current. So we can go to the topic. First we can see a current carrying conductor. So here taking a current carrying conductor XY. Here where resistor is there and emitter is there, a battery is there and a key is there. So when we close the key we can see that part. The current is carrying moving from this positive terminal to the negative terminal. When, as soon as the current is passing through this conductor XY, this commerce needle is showing a deflection. The commerce needle shows a deflection whenever there is a magnetic field. Whenever there is a magnetic field, the commerce needle will show a deflection. So here when the current is passing, we can see that this commerce needle shows a deflection. What is the meaning of that? So the meaning is that when the Whenever current is passing through the conductor, a magnetic field is produced around this conductor. As a result, what happened? This as a result, the compass needle is showing a deflection. So this is the magnetic effect of electric current. So whenever what is magnetic effect? Whenever current is passing through any conductor, a magnetic field is produced around that conductor. So this, this electromagnetism was first introduced by the scientist Hans Christian Oyster. So next we have to see a magnetic, what is a magnetic field. Next we have to see what is a magnetic field. So in order to study the magnetic field, we are taking a magnet. It has a north pole and a south pole. A magnet has a north pole and a south pole. So we are placing a magnet here. So we are placing an iron needle here. We are placing a iron needle near to this magnet. What happened to this iron nail? We can see that this iron nail is attracted towards this magnet. So whenever we are placing a magnet at a place, around this magnet a magnetic force is exerted. Around this magnet a magnetic force is exerted. So the region around this magnet, the region around the magnet where this magnetic force is exerted. The region around this magnet where the magnetic force is exerted is known as magnetic field. So around this space, we can see that this magnet is exerting a force. This around this region, the magnet is exerting a force. So this region is known as a magnetic field. So this region is known as a magnetic field. So next we have to see magnetic field lines. So whenever we are placing a magnet at a place, around this magnet, a magnetic force is exerted. So in order to find the direction of the magnetic field, we have to draw the magnetic field lines. So next we have to study the properties of these magnetic field lines. So here we can see that the magnetic field lines is originating from the north pole. We can see the arrow mark. It is originating from the north pole and it is going towards the south pole. Here the first property of the magnetic field is that the magnetic field, line, field lines will originate from the north pole and it is going towards the south pole. Here to the near to the poles we can see that here. Here near to the poles we can see that the magnetic field lines are crowded. So here near to the poles the magnetic force is greater. Near to the poles the magnetic field is greater and we can set and we are going away from the poles when we are going away from the poles the lines become wider so here the second property is that the magnetic field lines will be crowded it will be crowded near to the poles and it is become wider when we go away from the poles next property two magnetic field lines two magnetic field lines will never intersect two magnetic field lines will never intersect that is the third property of this uh, magnetic field lines so first property the La magnetic field lines will originate from the north pole and it will end in the south pole. Second property, two ma magnetic field lines will never intersect. And the third property, here the pole the, near to the poles, the magnetic the, the magnetic field lines are crowded. And when we're going away from the poles, what happened? Thus, the magnetic field lines will become wider. So these are the pro three properties of the magnetic field lines. So next we have to see the right hand thumb rule. So this is the current carrying conductor. This is the current carrying conductor. So here in this the current is flowing in the downward direction. So we are taking current carrying conductor. So in this current carrying conductor the current is flowing in the downward direction. So we can place the thumb like in the downward direction. So we can place the thumb in the downward direction. So what's the 
then the curl, there will be curled fingers when we are keeping the thumb in the downward direction the curled fingers will show the direction of the magnetic field lines when the right hand thumb rule says that the thumb indicate the direction of the electric current and the curled fingers indicates the direction of the magnetic field lines so here in this conductor we can see that the current is flowing in the downward direction so we can keep the thumb in the downward direction so what's the direction of the curled What's the, so, what's the direction of the curled fingers? It is in the clockwise direction. Here, we can see that the current is flowing in the clockwise direction. Here, the current is flowing in the clockwise direction. Here, the current is flowing in the clockwise direction. So, we are, when we are keeping the thumb in the downward direction, the current is flowing in the, the clockwise direction. So, next we have to place the current in the upward direction in the current carrying conductor now we are taking the current in the upward direction so here we are taking the current in the upward direction so we are placing the thumb in the upward direction so what's the direction of the magnetic field lines the direction of the magnetic field lines will be in the anti-clockwise direction here the direction of in the anti-clockwise direction so when we are placing the current when we are placing the current in the upward direction, so what is the direction? It will be in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is the right hand thumb rule. According to right hand thumb rule, if you are placing a current carrying conductor in the right hand, the thumb indicates the direction of the electric current and the curled fingers indicates the direction of the magnetic field lines. Next we have to see the magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor. We are taking a current carrying conductor XY, we are placing a key and we are placing a battery here. So whenever we close the switch, the current will start to flow in from this positive terminal to the negative terminal. So here using the right hand thumb rule, we can see that the current is flowing in the downward direction. So the current is flowing in the downward direction. So what is the direction of the magnetic field lines? So you can see that the compass needle will deflect in the east direction. This, this is the direction of the magnetic field line. So the compass needle will deflect in the east direction. This is the north pole and this is, a, this is x is the north pole and y is the south pole. So here this is the east and this is the west. So here we can see that uh, the compass needle will show a deflection in the east direction. So next we are taking reversing the current. So next we be here in this diagram we are reversing the current. We are connecting the negative terminal here and we are connecting the positive terminal. We are just reversing the current. So here we can see that the direction of the current is in the upward direction. So in this case the current is flowing in the upward direction. So here this is a north pole and this is south pole. So here whenever when we are reversing the current the compass needle also will show a deflection in the reverse direction in the opposite direction. The compass needle will show a deflection in the opposite direction that is in the west. So here the current is moving in the upward direction so that it is in the the current the compass needle will show a deflection in the west direction. Thank you for watching the video. Next class we can see the magnetic field through a circular loop and the Fleming left hand rule. So thank you for watching.